build a bridge like this? It would be cool to drive from Georgia to Georgia. Who doesn't want this in this world? Every single citizen of Earth wakes up every day wishing they could drive from the country of Georgia to the state of Georgia. Building this bridge through the Mediterranean probably won't be that difficult. Maybe just the hardest thing humanity has ever done in its existence. The Atlantic Ocean part should be pretty straightforward though. Did you know you could walk in a perfectly straight line from Norway all the way to South Africa? And they were not kidding. This line is literally perfectly straight. I had no idea. Again, those flat maps get us again. When staring at a map like this, it looks like this would in no way be possible. But clearly this is actually just super morphed and not accurate at all. Why can't all flat maps be perfectly projected like this is? Who cares about mountains and rivers? I propose the Europe-Asia border to now be the 40 degree east longitude line. Now, I don't know exactly what country this user that proposed this idea comes from, but it is safe to say they're probably from the US. Who else draws straight borders than us? Just completely disregard all the geographical features. We're drawing a line. Oh no, this area has a wide diverse array of mountains, rivers, and cultural differences. Proceeds to just draw a line. Unfortunately, this does kick out a pretty key member of the European continent. By our definition of the European continent today, they would be losing Kazakhstan. For that reason alone, I don't think we should be allowed to do this. Anon asks, thoughts on Lithuania? Looks like fat Africa. Actually, the geography experts in the meme sphere have discovered this a long time ago. Africa is just pre-bonk Lithuania. Hey guys, I found the most accurate French borders that have ever existed. A lot of the times maps on the internet get this country's borders just completely wrong. I'm just glad to have finally figured it out for all you guys. I think this was actually discovered by someone from Turkey. In a few million years, the plate tectonics will make the Iberian Peninsula look something like this. This is a pretty accurate theory of what the new Spanish-Portuguese borders will become. I believe this work is coming someplace out of Japan currently. More than likely, this scientist lives somewhere in the island of Hokkaido right now. And how is Spain and Portugal going to deal with this in 2075? Someone has finally found a perfect map projection in this Filipino airport. Not only is it a perfect map projection, but it's also going to tell us where the next land bridges are going to be built. Thank you, Filipino airport, for coming up with this stuff. Unfortunately, it looks like we are not going to connect the, the country of Georgia to the state of Georgia. That is not something humans get to the next hundred years. But we do build a bridge from Mexico to Cuba, also Canada to Greenland, as well as something really horrible has happened to Iceland. Not only are we creating borders, but we're also moving countries. Norway is now where the UK is. Estonia has moved a little bit further south. I guess so has Finland. Also, uh, Norway's been annexed by Sweden, uh, the other Norway. Looks like Ukraine's probably going to win their war against Russia. Also, Moscow becomes its own independent city. Russia is still around, though. United Korea! United Korea! You've heard it from the Philippines first. Then we have all the ASEAN nations coming together. It's about time they form a union. Not going to lie, I'm going to trust someone from the Philippines' opinion about what Australia looks like rather than anyone else. They're a lot closer, for sure. I mean, are we just supposed to believe the British's projections? The British don't even exist on this map, don't forget the British used Australia as a prison colony, so they probably had a reason to make it upside down. Wait, was that actually the joke that this Filipino airport was trying to go for here? Did they intentionally do it upside down? Because, because you know, upside down land. This person's asking the real questions. Should this canal be built? It would obviously become the longest canal humans have ever built in our history. But man, just look at how many US states are going to benefit from all this. What's even cooler about this canal is it already follows a lot of US state borders. It's perfect. I never even thought about this before. It seems way too good to be true. And can you imagine how powerful the state of Louisiana will become if they have their very own Louisiana canal? Then once we complete the first bigger canal, we can connect it with a lot more smaller canals. That way, if you aren't directly adjacent to the big one, you can still reap the benefits all the way from Denver, Colorado, start some smaller canals up in the Rockies, and have this canal touch all the way to the big one. Of course, it'll all drain in the Gulf of Mexico perfectly natural. It's almost like this whole thing isn't even artificial at all. This plan is too good to be true. Yo, guys, didn't even realize this post is actually 10 days 
days old. Zooming in on Google Earth, they've actually already built it. They did the whole thing in 10 days. And not only the big one, but the little ones as well. What a great day for American engineering. No one can compete with how fast we can get stuff done. Yo guys, can you guess where I live just by looking at one map? It's actually pretty difficult. I'll give you 10 minutes to try to figure it out. There even seems to be some sort of strange hieroglyphics that are trying to give us some sort of clue. But what could it all mean? Man, I don't know. I'm stumped. Did you know you can actually walk in a perfectly straight line from 2, 7 to negative 3, 4? Again, don't let the flat map projection fool you. This red dot can walk in a perfectly straight line to the blue one. Crazy what power you can obtain with just an X, Y axis. Why is Elon Musk so pressed about going to Mars when we can just build a bridge to Mars instead? He's always focused on the rockets, but what if we just built like a literal elevator? That would be pretty nice. Since Mars is always this exact distance from Earth, I think it'd be pretty easy too. Man, while we're at it, we might as well build a bridge to Venus as well. A map of all the uncontacted indigenous people of Europe in 2023. Since I've reviewed many of these uncontacted tribe world maps, of course, there are certain areas of the world where a lot of them are focused in on. Of course, a lot of these maps are inaccurate because it's kind of hard to find a lot of the uncontacted tribes. But for this example, look, a lot of them are in Brazil, specifically pretty deep into the Amazon rainforest. So to see this map concentrated in just one area really shouldn't be surprising. It seems like all of the uncontacted people in Europe are just from this one country, but I just don't know what it is. They even have this island in the Mediterranean too. This place must sure be a barren waste. Hey guys, did anyone ever notice this? I've been staring at a world map for three hours and then I realized South America fits perfectly within Africa. How is this possible? This post was literally made by my fourth grade self like 20 years ago. I was the person that discovered plate tectonics. You can thank me. Did you know you can walk in a perfectly straight line from Mexico to Africa? And this is actually the most accurate straight line map I have ever seen. It's about time we've started calculating for the curvature of the Earth. So to go from Mexico to Africa, I just have to go through the Earth's crust and a little bit of the upper mantle to get to Africa. I don't think we're going to get too low into like the juicy, soupy part, which means this is actually going to be pretty doable. Like if we went any deeper, yeah, not possible. But we definitely can go into the mantle, that's for sure. Who cares that we've only technically dug 40,000 feet into the crust and that it took 20 years to reach a 7.5 mile depth because this is going to be totally worth it when I can walk from the jungles of Mexico to the Sahara Desert of Africa. Ooh, congratulations. You've just named 124 US cities. That's actually an amazing amount. I don't think I can name that many. And just look at the diverse array of states this guy got to. He really knows his US geography, that's for sure. Someone should just nickname this guy Mr. Worldwide because clearly he'd be traveling all over the place. Got a total of 6.5 million people right there. Now that's impressive. Hey guys, is there a name for the giant landmass off the northwest coast of Taiwan. I'm still kind of confused about this because I'm not really sure. Like, I know Taiwan is right here, but what is all this? I, I don't know what this is. Oh, duh, that's right. A population density map of the United States, except I've killed everyone by the Mississippi River. Wait a second, don't you mean Mississippi Canal? <laughs> This guy clearly needs to research his geography a bit more. Anyways, looks like things haven't really changed much. The aliens did this, I think everything would be okay. Yo guys, I got a question. What was the reasoning behind Greenland acquiring this territory? It's so tiny. Like, what was even the point? I don't understand why they would get that. Especially when you're the largest island in the world. Like, why would you want such a tiny little peninsula? Seems kind of worthless to me. Oh, do they need a place to build their Lego factories? Could a bridge like this get built? It would be really cool to be Able to drive from San Francisco to Marin County. You know, it'd be even cooler too if we named it something like Golden Bridge or something like that, since this is in California, you know, like the, the Golden State. And it would kind of be like a gate since it's protecting this large bay right here. This is a bridge in another part of the world, but just use this for an example. This is exactly what I was thinking. Whoa, now this is crazy. This province in the country of Kazakhstan looks nothing like the country of Kazakhstan. How weird is that? I thought all provinces had had to look exactly like the country that they're in, you know, you know what I'm saying? But it turns out here, for some reason, Kazakhstan doesn't make any of their provinces look like exactly miniature 
Kazakhstan's. Did they not get the memo or something? Just started researching the Scandinavian countries. Why does nobody live in this part of Scandinavia? If you look at population density maps of this region, this just seems to be really empty. Like, like nobody's out here. Like, it's really red in Sweden, and it's really red in Finland, even Norway and Denmark. But what about the people here? What, what, where are these people? I don't even know what this place is called, to be honest. What country is that? Just figured out you can draw a Chad inside the country of Chad using Chadean provinces. Chad's keeping up with the memo that clearly Kazakhstan didn't get. This little state looks close enough to the overall Chad head of the country's borders. I'm glad the nation of Chad has decided to embrace the memes so much that they've designed their provinces to mimic Chad. I mean, when you Google Chad, literally Chad comes up more than the country. There's a lot of tourism dollars that are being wasted if you don't do something like this. I'm so glad they're profiting off the internet memes. Now, if only I didn't need a visa to travel to Chad. Please, let's fix this soon. You guys might think making bridges in the ocean is insane, especially across the entirety of the Atlantic Ocean. But think again, it is possible. All we have to do is extend this thing. Let's get to work. If we can do the Mississippi Canal, we can do anything. Finally, the mystery of Stonehenge has been discovered. They're actually just the toes while on Easter Island with the head. That's, that's the head. Glad we finally got to the bottom of this. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, no. What is this thing behind me been this whole time? Does anyone know what this random patch of the ocean is actually called? Still confused about it. I feel like a lot of people forget about this area. There are so many maps out here on the internet that have something similar to this, but you know, this region doesn't have a name. Zealand Ocean or something? I, I don't know. Can someone identify this flag? I like the references to the Netherlands up here, but it has this really weird icon down here in the bottom. So what's up with this text? Disgusting. Never have text on flags. There seems to be a pretty big Asian market for this flag though. I did not realize that. Someone really needs to go teach them how to do better flags, I guess. Yo guys, this is totally unfair. Why does the South American territory of French Guyana get to be in the European Union? This isn't in Europe. This is in South America. I knew the EU was completely biased. Stupid. If French Guyana can get into the EU, then why can't they come to Brazil? I'm sick of the hypocrisy. And big thanks to my patrons. I am the kidnapper and I have moved Drew to a Patagonian um, village. village. is real. Drew I'm not is a paid Argentinian actor. The grandpa. slow depressing Drew portal collapse. Asher. 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 Asher.